We are all just here just for a short time on this planet. Everything's changing, we change. We grow old and then we're gone. An artist is a fortunate person, somebody who can take what they learn, maybe leave a remembrance, leave something behind. And it doesn't mean you need to paint a scenery that is exactly like the sunset that you just saw, or you want to take a piece of uh, metal and sculpt it into the perfect flower. What it means is just to be present in the moment, take the gifts that you have, be transformative and creative, and leave behind beauty and joy. My name is Julie Deary. I'm a mosaic artist, and I work primarily with glass, tile, and recycled materials in order to create 2D and 3D works that emulate joy and capture the creative transformation that I observe in everyday life. What attracts me with mosaics is that it's so diverse. I mean, you can mosaic with glass, which I do, and stones that I find in my yard. Um, but I, I like that you can do so many things with mosaic. It, it can be flat on a wall, like a mural. It can be a sculpture, 3D, so you can look all the way around it. It can be many different sizes. I mean, I've made really tiny mosaics, and then I've had commissions for floors. I've had um, sculptures that are like 12 feet tall, and I've had, you know, like small little bunny rabbits for the garden or something. I mean, really, there's so much you can do with it, and like painting, I, I don't really like the idea of a flat canvas. When I look at a blank white canvas, sometimes I'm like, ugh, I can't deal with this. The tactile form of mosaic is very important to me. I love working with my hands. When we, I first started doing mosaics, it was perfect for me because you have, a, you have to do everything with your hands. And if you're actually using clay to make tiles, that's even better. You just, you know, you get your hands in the clay and then you, you make the tiles, you fire them, and then you can add them to a mural. I love that part. When I'm working in my studio, I recycle a lot of waste. I like to find things. I've always been a, like a yard sale person, a scavenger. I love to pick things up. You know, someone will ask me, what did you make that with? And I said, well, it was a piece of metal I found in the yard. Or somebody left something here and I, you know, I don't want to throw things away. I just, I'd rather try to create something else and be inspired by what you find. And sometimes when you find things, you, you can imagine it having a new life. It's, it's just, I like the idea of resurrecting something. Like, this is not going in the trash. This is gonna be like a focal point of an art piece. You were so good today. You were so good. Yes. <laughs> no. 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 You want to come up? Good jump. Good jump. All right, let's see what time it is, and if it's time, we can go for a walk. It's like 4.15. Oh, is that it? Mm. Only 4.15? Did you get food today? Did you eat anything?